नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट सी इंटेलिजेंट पावर मॉड्यूल डिजाइन एंड टेक्निक्स सो व्हाट वी आर सीइंग इज फ्रॉम मिट्सुबिसी इलेक्ट्रिक एंड वी आर सीइंग एन आईपीएम विथ पैकेज स्लिम डिप सो स्लिम डिप पैकेज इज हैविंग आई थिंक 27 पिन पैकेज ओके और 26 पिन पैकेज द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ दिस इज ऑलरेडी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन व्हिच इज इन एयर कंडीशनर और क्लॉथ वॉशर और रेफ्रिजरेटर्स और डिश वॉशर्स और फैन एंड पंप्स सो ऑल दोस प्लेसेज इट कैन बी यूटिलाइज्ड so our main motive would be to understand the pin descriptions and their functionalities so as we can see this is the internal diagram of the ipm which is slim dip pin configuration ipm and we have all these pins that is arranged in like pin number 2 to 20 and then 21 to 27 okay so our aim would be to understand each of the pin functionalities what are they and how they are utilized something like that so we have a list of the pin configurations here as we can see here uh, pin number 1a and 1b actually which were not shown in the internal diagram that you can see here okay so this 1a 1b is something like this pin number 1a is vnc which is nothing but it is used in internal okay and keep no connection it has a ground potential so nc is nothing but in in mitsubishi electric uh, basically uh, all these ipms nc is nothing but ground terminal okay so pin number 1 must not be connected separately okay now vp1 is nothing but it is also internal and keep no connection it is a control supply terminal all right so p1 is for power and n for negative you can consider which is called a ground coming back to pin number 2 and 3 <coughs> so we have v u f s u is u phase and v is v phase w is w phase like that it is connected so for v uh, for v u f s it is u phase p side drive ground terminal okay so this is high side drive you can consider high side drive or p side drive positive side drive okay and this is a ground terminal and this is the positive terminal so b is positive and s is ground so uh, v u f b is u u phase p side drive supply positive terminal and v u f s is u phase p side drive supply ground terminal similar to that we have a uh, v phase and you have w phase coming back to uh, up uh, up vp and wp so in this case you can see these are control input terminals so we can see that u phase p side control input terminal v phase p side control input terminal w phase p side control input terminal so this control input terminal actually will be the taking pwm inputs from the microcontroller or controller or some dsps or fpgas whichever is applicable okay so these are the control signal that is coming uh, from the microcontroller as a pwm form and this is the power supply that is coming from uh, you know like dc power supply which will be of 15 volt okay <coughs> so uh, this uh, drive supply voltages will be actually 15 volt and these terminals must be protected with some jener diode as well as bootstrap capacitor and some smoothing capacitor so that's the meaning we will see in during our design techniques okay so each of the terminal will be accompanied with one you know like jener diode and uh, one uh, capacitor and one smoothing capacitor so like that so this will be my v u f s phase uh, like it is not ground it is not ground v u f s phase and this will be my v u f b phase okay moving to the next one which is vp1 vp1 is nothing but p side control supply positive terminal so this will also get connected to 15 volt separately and as i told you vnc1 so you can see vnc is here so this was no connection this if you want you can connect one of them so this is connected to ground ground so vnc is p side control supply ground terminal similar to my up vp and wp we have un vn and wn this is nothing but lower side okay so this was positive side and this was or p side p channel side this was n channel side you can see okay so this is also called as high side control signal this is called as low side control signal so u phase n side control input terminal so this will be again a pwm coming from my mcu with some dead time between uh, you know like p side uh, pwm and n side term, uh, pwm and that's where we utilize some dead time also between this pwm so this is my 
N side PWM terminals and this is P side PWM terminals. Okay. Moving to the next parts, uh, we have VN1. So VN1 is again N side supply positive terminal. So you can see uh, for P side we had VP1. We had PVVP1 here. Similar to that, we have VN1. So we have to again supply this 15 volt uh, supply. Coming back to FO, FO is fault output signal. So fault output signal is open drain type, open drain type, okay. And it must be connected with one pull up resistor so that we can, uh, you know, like have the proper output. So let us say th 5 volt or 3.3 volt, we can connect it. And it will go low whenever there is a fault. If it is going low, you mean you have to understand that this is having fault output. Coming back to C in, so C in is nothing but a short circuit trip voltage detecting terminal. Okay. So what happens is uh, the the output of this uh, uh, lower side output terminal, which is going to be NW, NV and NU. So there we have sun resistor. So above the th sun resistor, that terminal is get connected to C in. Okay. And that's where you will be having short circuit detection. So this is how it is connected. Coming back to VNC1, so VNC1 is again, uh, VNC is again N side control supply ground terminal. So we had two VNCs, uh, VNC was here as well, uh, VNC for P side ground and VNC for N side ground. So the thing is, we have to connect only one of them to ground, one has to be left open. So no connection, we can keep one of them, okay. So any one of them, we can connect it to ground. Coming back to uh, output temperature, so temperature output is from VOT terminal. So VOT terminal will give us some temp uh, output voltage based on the temperature of the IC that is coming up at the driver. So what happens is it is going to give you my analog output and that can be sent to my ADC of microcontroller with proper filtering and amplification if you want you can have but this gives a good understanding we have seen in the characteristics also. Let's talk about uh, NU, NV, NW. So they are actually uh, U-phase N-side IGBT emitter. So we have the IGBT connected like this. This is my IGBT and this is my you know, P and this is my uh, going to have uh, N-terminal or something like that. I mean, let's say U-phase or V-phase or something like that. And again, one more will be connecting like this. And this is going to be my NU. So this is my uh, U terminal of motor and this is going to be NU. So NU is going to get connected with sun resistor like this. And this is what it is my N side emitter terminal. So this is called N side means lower side or low side. This is high side uh, IGBT and this is low side IGBT. And this is my sun resistor that will get connected to detect how much the current flowing through each of the phase. Okay. So this was all about NU, NV, NW. Coming back to uh, UVW. So UVW is the phase, uh, like W phase output terminal, which can be connected to number six terminal internally. Th that is not an issue. Uh, we will see in the block diagram. However, W phase is the output terminal. So similar to this, we will have UVW for the output terminal get connected to the motor. So this is how this UV uh, W phase are there. The last pin is pin P uh, which is uh, inverter DC link positive terminal. So here is the pin which is going to get connected to let us say 300 volt DC signal. Okay. So this is what all about the pin uh, terminals were there. Let's talk about a little bit detailed functionality of each one of them. So if you talk about detailed description of each one of them, uh, we have item, we have symbols and we have description if you see. Okay. So quickly if you see, uh, we, we, will, we had already seen my VUFB, VUF, uh, VVFFB and VWFB to VUFS, v, VFS and VWFS. So between these two pins, we have to apply a voltage of 15 volt. Okay. So you can see we have P side drive supply positive terminal and P side drive supply ground terminal. So the later one is ground terminal and the first one is supply positive terminal. Okay. So we have to supply through a bootstrap capacitor individual isolated power supply and not needed for P side dri gate drive. Okay. So you can see uh, we will be connecting bootstrap capacitor like this and then put one smoothing capacitor, let's say 0.22 microfarad or something 
and we can connect one uh, Jenner diode which will be saving the uh, terminals okay it will not go for some there will be a surge or something at the input side then it the terminals can go get damaged okay that's the reason we try to connect Jenner diodes and you can connect this Jenner diode of 24 volt 1 watt capacity but however since this is 15 volt so if you want you can connect it to let us say 18 volt Jenner diode or even 20 volt Jenner diode should be sufficient based on the uh, application that is needed and how much transient you are getting okay so we have lot of designs we'll see that coming back to uh, vpn and vnn so th that is vp1 and vn1 these are the uh, p side control terminal and n side control terminal so you can see uh, this is also get going to get connected to 15 volt so you can see we have control supply terminal for built in high voltage ic and low voltage like it is high high volt high side gate driver ic and low side gate driver ic's okay good and it is recommended to insert a Jenner diode 24 volt 1 watt between each pair of the control supply terminal to pre uh, prevent short uh, surge destruction okay so that's the same thing we can utilize uh, I mean uh, one uh, Jenner diode along with a uh, favorable frequency characteristics with uh, some smoothing capacitor or bypass capacitor that we can attach so this was again one more very good uh, you know like input for the connection of the pins coming back to the other parts uh, we have uh, n side ground terminal so as i told you already vnc so this has to get connected to the ground and since we have two terminals of vnc so only one of them has to get connected to ground another one has to be left open so you have to just understand these two pins of vnc one of them has to be left open and another one of them has to be connected to the ground all right now coming back to the control input so that's where it is the pwm high which is like up vp and wp and pwm lower like uh, and, uh, you know like uh, we have <coughs> complementary uh, pwms here so un vn and wn so these are the pwms coming from my microcontroller and which will get connected to the control input terminals or voltage input type it is actually so to have a proper connection or you know like proper smoothing or something like that we can always connect one rc filter and then send it to the up vp wp from our input so this is my input going to get connected through one rc filter all right uh, we can always connect some isolator or something like that but the advantage of this uh, uh, slim deep ipm is it has inbuilt isolation so there is no need of isolation otherwise if you want to have a proper uh, you know like design and uh, uh, really want to save it uh, from isolation or something like that you can attach a uh, little bit higher isolation as well so like optocouplers or something like that before sending it to the terminal pins that we will see uh, during the design phase coming back to scene pin as we have already seen this is a short circuit trip voltage detection terminal so for inverter part short circuit protection we have to connect at uh, you know like at the input potential of the sunt resistor so input uh, uh, you know like uh, nv nw and n uh, you know, nu nv nw was there at that place we have to connect this particular pin number to c in through an rc filter and it is recommended that the RC must be up to 2 microseconds so generally we try to have uh, let us say we are connecting like this uh, this is the capacitor and this is going to my C in okay and this is the NU, NV, NW phase so RC this is the how it will get connected so this RC multiplication you can see that is my time constant time constant is nothing but RC so RC must be less than 2 microseconds that you have to make sure so generally we have always uh, tried uh, determining RC filter with uh, one microsecond that was a good recommendation coming back to fault output signal okay so fault output signal what happens this will be giving us a fault output signal in that case what will happen is the fault output signal should be pulled up with 5 volt logic or 3.3 3 volt logic over a 5 kilo ohm resistor for limiting the fault output sink current okay up to 1 milliampere normally 10 kilo ohm is recommended okay so the thing is whenever there will be a fault it will go low that's the understanding uh, let me just see once where I said low because I said one play more place low to you guys <coughs> so yeah this was about all about fault low so fault will go to low right 
coming back to temperature output terminal so temperature output terminal is very very important it is going to give you analog output voltage VOT terminal so it is nothing but LVIC temperature is output by analog signal and this terminal is connected to output of uh, our OP amplifier that is uh, <coughs> over voltage pro uh, you know like uh, protection amplifier internally and at the same time it is recommended to connect 5.1 kilo ohm pull down resistor when output linearity is necessary okay so generally at room temperature the value is very very small at that place we have to connect 5.1 kilo ohm pull down resistor coming back to the most important uh, you know like parts of this IPM which is going to have inverter DC link positive terminal which will be pin P so pin P has to get connected with DC link positive supply power term uh, power supply terminal and this will be taking my 300 volt or 400 volt maximum okay and this is internally connected to collector of P side of IGBTs so each of the P side of IGBT just now I told you uh, let me just show it to you so these are the IGBTs that is connected in P side I mean you know like high side and low side so P will be connected to collector of each of them okay so you can see it has been connected to collectors of all P side IGBTs all right so this is the main power supply to the IGBTs and going to uh, give you the output at U V and W to the terminals of for the micro I mean uh, motor <coughs> Generally, we will be connecting one, uh, you know, like a bulk capacitor as well as one smoothing capacitor so that it, it and it has to be located as close as possible to the P and N terminal of deep IPM. Okay. So this slim deep is actually nothing but package and the IPM name is actually deep IPM, deep IPM. Okay. So deep IPM is the family name and slim deep is the package name that we are discussing. So slim deep we are always saying because we have lot of variants in slim deep package and this is how we are utilizing based on the current uh, ratings that we are using for different applications coming back to inverter DC link negative terminal so that is nothing but NU NV NW between which uh, and the ground we will be connecting sun resistor so this is open emitter terminal of each N side IGBTs so that was P side IGBTs they are positive supply and N side IGBTs these are the negative terminal for DC link okay so use this terminal uh, these terminals are generally connected to the power ground through an individual sun resistor so if you want individually each of them will be connected to one sun resistors otherwise together also only single sun resistor will be utilized for low cost applications now the important part is last one which is going to be UVW that is internal inverter power output so inverter power output terminal is going to get connected to my motor which will be having UV and W phase okay so this is how my motor driver will be working based on this particular pin descriptions so hope you have a good understanding about the pin description of each and every pins from this uh, slim dip package of dip IPM dip IPM and if you do have uh, any questions regarding this like any of the pin functionalities that you have do not have an understanding or you know like uh, close attention do you want to have like how these pins has to be con get connected you can put down your questions in the comment box and we shall be able to answer you out properly thank you so much